Yamaha has introduced two new guitars to their transacoustic line, a parlor and a classical guitar. They bring with them reverb and chorus with no need for an amp. Check it out. Hello Internet, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us on the web at alamomusic.com. If you're new here, we do guitar reviews, comparisons, and all sorts of stuff. So if that sounds like it's right up your alley, make sure that you subscribe, turn on your notifications, and like our videos to get more. Today, we're going to be doing a review for you and demonstration of two new transacoustic guitars from Yamaha. That is the CGTA that I'm holding in my hand, and this little guy, the CSF TA. Now, if you're not familiar with Yamaha's trans acoustic guitars, this is a new line of guitars that Yamaha came out with a little over maybe two years ago at this point. Um, and I'll put a link to some of our reviews right there. Now, some of these are going to be old videos. So, you know, they are what they are. We're trying to do better as we go along, but they demonstrate some of the videos. So uh, the first one I'll put up there is for the first series of trans acoustic guitars that were based upon the L uh, series of guitars from Yamaha. And then after that, they came out with another series of trans acoustics, uh, which focused on the F uh, G series of guitars. So we'll link to that, uh, that playlist right there for you. These are continuing that idea and they're basing it on uh, two very popular guitars in the lineup. The classical guitars, which Yamaha makes phenomenal classical guitars, and the CSF, this guy, which is a new parlor style guitar or travel guitar that Yamaha came out with last year. We've really liked this new guitar, uh, this whole series that Yamaha's come out with, and we've done reviews on the non-transacoustic version of it as well. So they're based upon tried and true platforms, but what is trans acoustic guitars? Well, what this technology does is, is actually allow you to have effects on board an acoustic guitar. And it's a novel idea. It has been implemented uh, in some cases outside of the guitar. You might be familiar with a thing called the Tonewood amp. Um, if you're not, you can check that out. Tonewood amps basically connect to the back of your guitar and they excite the guitar, they vibrate it in order to create effects acoustically. And it's a, it's a smart idea if you think about it, an acoustic guitar is basically, it's like a speaker cabinet already, right? What we're doing typically is we're striking strings, causing it to vibrate, it's generating these vibrations into sound that comes out of the sound hole. So finding another way to excite the body of the guitar, there's a pun there, but I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> excite the body of the guitar and create additional sounds is an exciting way of doing it. So with these guitars, they actually have an actuator built into the guitar and it is connected to a brace on the back of the guitar. This actuator is actually much, much larger than something you'd find on the Tonewood amp, which is probably a, maybe about the size, somewhere between a dime and a quarter. This is more like bigger than a half dollar. It's a very large actuator. And what the actuator does is it vibrates against the body to create these sound waves to replicate the effect that you want based upon the input that it gets from the guitar's built-in electronics. So, just like a pickup would work, you hit the string, a pickup gets that vibration, it transfers it through a preamp into sound, usually we just plug in, out you go, and it sounds like a guitar. It's taking that same signal, running it through some processing with circuit board inside to the actuator to create reverb and chorus in the acoustic guitar without the need for an amp. Now, these are also acoustic electric instruments, so you can plug them in, there's a line out here on the bottom, go into your PA system and play amplified as well. But the secret sauce is being able to do it all without an amp. On the sides, you have a control, okay? This knob is your reverb knob. There's room and hall reverb available. Over on the other side is chorus, so you can just sweep through for how much chorus you want. This lower button is your volume button when you're plugged in, or it is your on-off button to turn on the transacoustic functionality. If you hold it in for 0.3 seconds or longer, it comes on, push it, hold it to turn it off. Inside, there's a circuit board against the inner part of the side of the guitar up here along the upper bout, 
and if you look inside, you can see whether that light is on or off. And a little tip for you, it will stay on until you turn it off. So if you purchase one of these, you have the transacoustic functionality on, you forget to turn it off, you come back, it's not working, that's because your batteries are dead. So good battery life, but we've seen that happen in the store before. So just a word of warning and some advice for you. Now, these electronics are in these guitars um, that have their own kind of unique build to them. This, of course, is a classical guitar from Yamaha. It is a solid Engelmann spruce top. It is laminate Ovoncol back and sides. It features a flat radius neck, two inch nut, 25 and a half inch scale. It's a traditional classical guitar. It's not a hybrid or crossover or anything like that. It's very comfortable for me. I grew up playing these, uh, but if you're not used to playing classical guitars, you might experience that it's a bit of a reach with your hand, um, but the feel is fantastic and the sounds that you get are luscious uh, and we'll demonstrate that for you here in a bit. I will tell you this, if you have an open chord going, um, you can actually have the system feedback because it's so resonant already with the build of the guitar and you're accentuating it and you're letting the string sustain, it will actually start to feed back acoustically, which is kind of a cool thing, uh, but be aware of it. You can just rest your arm on it and it quiets it down because you're dampening the resonance. So that's the CGTA, and we'll demonstrate that for you. The other one is the CSF TA, which again, takes the CSF parlor recipe and adds the transacoustic uh, functionality to it. So it's the same electronics that we just talked about, functions the exact same way in a smaller parlor size guitar, 23.6 inch scale. So this is parlor travel guitar size, kind of around the same scale length of a GS Mini. It's a little smaller, um, really more parlor size. It's laminate mahogany back and sides with a solid Sitka spruce top. Um, and it plays phenomenally. Now the bracing in this is scalloped bracing. So even acoustically, these are fantastic guitars. So what we are going to do to demonstrate this for you is I'm going to play both guitars without the transacoustic system really turned up so you can hear what the guitars sound like on their own. Then we are going to add reverb and chorus so you can hear the lusciousness that comes out of these phenomenal instruments. So stick around, stay tuned, check it out.
So there you have it, two new models in the trans acoustic line. We think these are awesome, creative guitars that really act as tools to get the juices flowing. Um, no need for an amp, no need for effects, just you, your guitar, and a nice quiet room to enjoy all the lusciousness that's going to come out of the sound hole on either of these beautiful guitars. So I'd like you to vote in our poll which one you like better, the parlor or the classical guitar, and which one you could see adding to your arsenal. This, these are really unique guitars. They're excellent instruments on their own, but they sound fantastic having those effects on board, pouring out of the sound hole acoustically while you create new sounds. And if you are someone who likes to play with a lot of complex chords or open voicings, I think these are really up your alley. So if you'd like more information about the specs on either of these, make sure that you go to our website at alamomusic.com or you can click on the description for the product link down below. Uh, in our description, it'll link you directly to the page for either the classical guitar or the CSF parlor version of the transacoustic. Uh, if you're new here, make sure that you click on subscribe, like, and turn on notifications so that you see all of our videos as soon as they come out. We'll see you next time.